Why amateur golfers can't do this, lead with their hips in the downswing like all the top tour players do, has actually got nothing to do with flexibility and mobility, and it's got everything to do with the technique of their golf swings. And I'm gonna show you three of those top reasons to why amateur golfers can't lead with the hips like the top pros, and a fix for each one, and then you're gonna be clearing those hips, no problem. So number one, losing your hip depth in the backswing. So this is where I see so many golfers who say they can't clear their hips, can't lead with the hips in a downswing, and they're getting up to the top of their swing, and their pelvis is moving towards the golf ball as they complete the top of their swing. So continually moving their hips forward. Now that makes it impossible for you to be able to clear your hips in the downswing. What's going to happen from there is your pelvis is only going to move more forward whilst the upper body moves back and you'll early extend and hit the shot really poor. So for these golfers, they really need to keep the right hip back in the backswing. I wanna see golfers have like their trouser pocket, almost have that being like pulled back in that backswing to where when we get up to the top of the backswing, the hips are either on the same line as where they were at setup or they're further back than where they were. That's gonna set you up nicely to now be able to get that left hip to go back to lead with the hips in the downswing. You need that right hip to go back to be able to set yourself up to lead properly. So an easy drill to do for this is just grab a camping chair and put that chair at the back of your hamstrings. And now all I'd want you to do is push that chair back with your right hip in the backswing. If you start to have that right hip go forward, losing your hip depth, you're gonna come away from the chair. So we really wanna give it a good push with the right hip in the backswing. And we also wanna get it a good push with the left in the downswing. And if you could do that, you're gonna be leading with your hips way better. So guys, the off season is here. So now is the time to start working on your game in preparation for next season, for next season to be the best season ever. So if you wanna make changes, just like you're seeing here with my students, I wanna do it over the winter period where you're in luck because I have just launched the winter improvement plan. So what do you get with the winter improvement plan? You get four lessons per month and it's for all under the price of two single lessons. So an absolutely amazing deal. So four lessons per month is absolutely perfect for the amount of lessons to have optimal improvement month in, month out. So that's where we can have good interaction, have really keeping you on plan and making sure that we're giving your swing the time and attention it needs to have that massive improvement from off season to in season. So it's an absolute brilliant way to work on your golf swing to get it ready for next season, but any lesson package or subscription on my skill list is absolutely a brilliant way to work on your golf swing and don't just take my word for it. Here are the testimonials of my students and the massive improvements they've made. So if you wanna ask me any questions, you can message me over on my Skillist profile and I'll absolutely answer anything you want. And I'm looking forward to working with you and improving your golf swing. So number two, trying to clear your hips with your right side, so incredibly common. We see golfers who are trying to lead with their hips, try to push their right side forward, try to get that side of the hip clearing first. Now, when that happens, you might get a little bit of early hip clearance, but from there, your hips are gonna quickly stop rotating because what's gonna happen? It's gonna push the right side of the pelvis towards the golf ball, which is gonna cause the right side of the body to move towards the golf ball, which will then cause the club to go on the outside of the ball line. So for golfers who struggle with shanking the golf ball when they start to try to clear the hips, this is why, it's because you're doing it with your right side. Now, we don't want that to happen with the right side. We want it to happen with the left side. We want to then, as we're starting that downswing, the left side of the pelvis to go back. We want the right side to preferably stay where it is. So it's like I'm up against the wall here, getting up to the top. I want my right side to touch the wall and then I want my left side to touch the wall whilst the right side is still in contact. That's what clears the hips. And you can see one other thing that happens that a lot of you golfers are trying to get in there, when the right side stays back and the left side starts to clear, look how my right arm now nicely falls in front of my body. Shaft starts to shallow, but I've got all this room now to where I can just continue to turn and then I'm going to be hitting really good shots. And the drill to do is the same drill as the first one, chair drill. Now, like I said, we want to push it back with the left hip in the downswing and we really want to do that here. So you want to keep your right hip in contact after you've given it a good push in that backswing and then keep it in contact whilst you're pushing the left hip back as much as you can. And I'm trying to push it off my platform here. So I'm really trying to give it a really, really big push. And just like we can see from this slow-mo, 
the hips are leading really nicely. Got to get the left hip moving back, not the right hip moving forward. Now the third one is something I talk about all the time on my channel when it comes to hip rotation, and that is golfers who really struggle with it are starting their downswing so quickly with their arms that they're not giving their hips time to unwind and lead. So, so many golfers are out there trying to smack the ball with their arms in the fastest manner they can, thinking that's what's going to give them club head speed. But in reality, if they left their arms where they are at the top of the swing, made them feel really slow, and that'll give now time for the hips to unwind. So applying the two other points, right hip staying back, left hip opening up. If you can now keep those arms incredibly quiet and incredibly stable and almost slow at the top of that backswing into the downswing, you're going to give yourself a much better chance to start to clear those hips and start to lead with them because it's time for it to do that now. So my drill for this is you get up to the top of the backswing with just your left arm. You keep there at the top. Now, if you get your palm of your right hand, put it on the butt end of the club. Now, what I want you to do is turn in the downswing, just that first little transition movement. Again, left hip to go back, right hip to stay where it is. And don't put any pressure into the palm of your right hand. Because if you're putting no pressure into the palm of your right hand, then you know that the arms haven't been active. Because if I get active, it's going to put a ton of pressure into my right palm. So no pressure into that right palm, almost keeping the hands and arms where they are, getting that left hip to go back, right hip to stay where it is. It's a great drill to start to feel it. And then we can just get those hips to start to lead way, way easier. So guys, those are the three main reasons why amateur golfers can't clear their hips and lead with them like the top pros can. Now, there are other reasons, absolutely, and there's plenty of videos on my YouTube channel about leading with the hips or about rotation in general, because things that will stop your body from rotating will also stop you from leading with your hips. But if you want the most in-depth videos that give you tailored plans depending on what swing issue you have, I have a course on that exactly. There's a link in the description. That is the ultimate guide to rotation in the downswing. Gives you a coaching level of knowledge on rotation. And that is absolutely, if you want to master rotation and want rotation to never be a problem again, you do need a very high level of knowledge on that topic. All easily breakdownable, tons of different sections of it, practice drills, absolutely everything you want to know and you need for rotation will be in that course. So if you enjoyed this video, Click that like button if you want more golf instruction just like this. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video.